Bama Nation, Dixie Jean here, getting ready for Bad Beat 14, coming January 9, 2015. Right now I'm here with Corey Grant, getting ready to take on Chad George. First time with the Bama USA cage. Welcome yes. to the Bama USA cage, Thank first you. off. Appreciate it. So how is training going for you right now? Very good. Just starting off nice and slow right now, um, making sure that I'm just getting my strength and conditioning down, um, making sure I'm ready to go and won't get any injuries. So training camp actually officially will start on Monday, so I'm ready to go. All right, now, Corey, it's your first interview with us, but let's talk about a little bit of your past. It's been a while since you've been in the cage. Walk us through how that's been for you. Um, it's been a long time. It's been about four and a half years since I've been able to compete. Um, after my last uh, fight, I ended up having to have a neck surgery, and after my neck surgery, I ended up getting married, and then had a child, and then I bought a gym, and then I had another child, so um, you add that busy. up, it, it's been a long time, and you know when you when you compete at this level, and, and when you want to be on a, on a nice show, you know you have to be 100% committed, have your life in order, and uh, you know my gym's in order, family's in order, so uh, ready to go, healthy, ready to rock and roll. Now you are taking on Chad George. What do you know about your opponent? Um, well, he's certainly more experienced than I. Uh, he's got a lot more fights, probably three times as many fights as I have. Um, you know he wrestled in college. You know, he likes to train, he likes to fight. Um, I know he's going to show up, he's going to be ready to go, and that's the kind of competition I'm looking for. So. And it's, it's kind of interesting, it's going to be a savage fight because you both nicknamed the savage. Yeah. yeah. So what's going to actually set you apart going into the ring? What's going to set you? Um, well, the biggest thing is that I think I'm actually officially able to fight at my a, a normal weight class for my weight. Um, I've always fought against bigger opponents, and uh, you know, sometimes when you're, when you're closely matched and you have a bigger opponent, you know, you're at a disadvantage. Now I feel like I'm at my regular weight class. I'm at the advantage now and um, had time off. I've been training, teaching. It's going to be a different me. So looking forward to that. Well, coming after such a long period of not fighting, why Bama USA? What was the incentive to fight in our cage? Um, well, you know, I've been talking to Brett. I had one of my former fighters because I also manage fighters and coach and train other fighters. Um, he, he had fought on the show and I liked the way that uh, Brett dealt with everything. Um, I liked the venue um, and, and most importantly was the opponent. So um, that's what I'm looking for. I, I don't like easy fights. So I'm looking to find somebody that's going to challenge me and um, get to go out there and display my skills. Now, you're, you're mentioning that you have a really nice family going into the holidays, though, doing mm -hmm. training. How's yeah. that going to impact how you're training? Well, I'll tell you what. The very first thing that my wife told me when I told her that, you know, I really need this fight, I want this fight, she said, she pointed at me and she said, do not ruin Christmas. And I said, okay, I promise I will not ruin Christmas. So as long as I uh, handle myself well during the holidays, you know, she's supporting me and um, you know my daughters are very young they don't really know what this is and you know they think we're just wrestling and stuff so um, you know, I'll keep them out of that for right now and you know I'm gonna enjoy the holidays it's gonna be fun and then do you expect to see your girls eventually growing up be tough girls in the um, their gym with you, you know my three-year-old is already begging for a, a gi so she can start jujitsu. She knows about it, she she understands it, she likes to watch it. I mean, she'll sit down and, and she'll watch it, you know, for 20 minutes. And for a three-year-old, that's a pretty good attention span. So um, I, I think she will. I think mom would prefer her to be in ballet or gymnastics or soccer, but um, I think she's gonna start off with jujitsu and end up being a wrestler. We'll see. <laughs> You're like, we'll see how much I can. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Pull her in that direction. Yeah. Well, we both agree that hey, whatever the direction the girls want to go, we're we're gonna, gonna let them. them. So we'll open the doors for them and see what they want to do. Well, it seems like you have a great support system at home. Yeah. How about the support system in the gym? Any shouts you want to give to your training partners? Um. Well, all of them really. I mean, I got a lot of great teammates out there, and a lot of people that I know are gonna step up to 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 help me out. And you know, I called Dan Henderson and said, hey, you know. I own my own facility, I own my own team quest, but I'm usually there. I said, hey, can I come down and, and train with you guys and get ready for this fight? And, you know, he's excited. He says, yeah, you know, great. I'd love to see you fight again. And, um, you know, he's, he's been a, a huge part of my whole MMA career, being a mentor and kind of showing everybody the ropes. You know, he, he just leads by example. And, right. you know, we look up to him and try to emulate him. So 
yeah, you know, he's been great for me. And, you know, again, my family, my teammates, and how all about the sponsors. sponsors. You know, Clinch Gear's always been out there for me. Um, I haven't contacted him yet. Uh, this is just a recent, um, you know, signing a contract for this fight. Um, but Mouthpiece Guy is going to be um, uh, a, a sponsor for me. And, you know, I'll be out looking for others too. Um, but I think those two guys are definitely going to be in my corner and, and there to, to help me out. Well, you have the support system at home. You have the support system in the gym. A lot of people now, especially on social media, um, they like to follow people, get them support via social media. Do you have any handles that people can follow you at? Um, I do have a Facebook page. Um, mainly it's through, through Team Quest. It's Team Quest Anacino. And also with our Twitter, it's Team Quest Anacino. And um, what else do I have? Oh, I have my own Twitter, too. I think it's uh, The Savage. So we're going to be battling that out for that name, I think. And um, I Is think that's about it. Is it the Victor going to pick the, the loser's, the loser's new nickname? nickname? I don't know. We might have to figure out something, I'm Just sure. Just rock, paper, scissors. Um, yeah, we'll figure <laughs> out something. It should be interesting. All right. Well, it is your first interview with me for Bama USA. My question is, how, what got you started in MMA? Hmm. Um, well, I was a wrestling coach. I was a high school wrestling coach and a state of, in the state of Michigan. So they decided to make a rule. Coaches weren't allowed to coach in the summer. Okay. So I was just sitting there twiddling my thumbs after work every day, you know, and uh, I'm a single guy and I'm just like, I need to do something. A couple of friends said, hey, you know, try this jujitsu thing. So I went in the first night, loved it. So I decided, well, I'll keep doing this. And then um, a couple of the guys there were training and they were fighting and they're like, hey, you're a wrestler, come, come help us with this stuff, you know. So I started helping a couple of these guys getting ready for their fights and they called me and said, hey, you want to try this fighting thing? And I was like, sure, why not? And uh, you know, two months later, I moved to California <laughs> and training with Team Quest. And, and now you're now I own a Team Quest gym and here I am. So it was a pretty quick uh, snowball effect. It was awesome. Well, it seems like everything's set. Now we just have to get the start of January. Yep. Uh, January 9th, Brad Beat 14 against mm -hmm. Chad George. Yeah. Um, and after that, what are your goals for 2015? Um, well, I was speaking to Brett, and you know, we talked about me doing a, a couple more um, fights for him this year. Uh, again, you know, it's been four and a half year layoff, so I'll, uh, you know, I don't plan on just doing one fight. I plan on having a few this year, and um, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Just keep growing from there. You got it. All right. Well, you can see Corey Grant take on Chad George January 9th for Bad Beat 14th right here at Commerce Casino.